I'm in a scare, honey. Ew. What did you talk about? Bitch, is you falling down? So weedy. Yeah. Oh, you say you want I? Okay. I could take you there. Yeah. Hold it. Got a dump in, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it. They all in my face when I know what I got. Love what you see. You want a deal on my shit so high. Yeah, I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your Terry and Nate who's on the know and then we have our friends. Nice to meet you, sis. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the fam. And when you do, make sure that you turn on your push notifications so you never miss an upload from me, okay? And um make sure you follow me on my social media because it's lit over there, okay? So as you can see. We in a bathroom with it. We got cute little robe on. And as you can see by the title, we are going to get into some self-care items. All from, well not all, mostly from Amazon. We got some goodies for you. So let me roll my sleeves up. And let's jump right into it. <laughs> right into it. So right now, I know y'all see my hair. Okay, little girls. Oh, I look like a little boy. I look like such a little boy to me. But anyways, um, we're going to start with our hair if you're late girl if you're late i hope you're not late but if you are you know i ain't gonna make you feel no type of way but what i suggest you do is go ahead and look at my last recent upload because i gave myself a whole diva cut at home by myself so if you're curious to see how i chop all of my damaged hair and my split ends, all that old girl, and go ahead and click on that video. I promised myself that I would take better care of my hair after cutting it. I didn't get this hair mask from Amazon. I already had it. It's the Pantene Gold Series. I'm about to show you in just a second. Yeah, this is what it looks like. This is my favorite right now. It's a repairing mask infused with iron oil for a deep moisturization to replenish and help restore hair health okay so if you watch that video you know this whole left side of my hair is terribly heat damaged so that's what i'm gonna do today so basically what i'm doing is i'm just gonna wet my hair with some water put a ton of this mask in my hair and then i'm just gonna um tie my hair up with the plastic bag because it kind of makes your hair sweat it kind of makes sure that all the product gets into it you know when it penetrates your scalp and whatnot so let me make sure i take my ring off i play too much let me get a mirror up girl because i can't see nothing this new little setup girl i'm used to my little vanity okay but you know we're gonna make it work so i'm not making my hair super damp i'm just getting it a little moist you know what i'm saying and I've noticed that it's so important to finger comb your hair before you just start raking a brush or a comb through it. So that's what I'm doing right now. Plus my hair already has some product in it from that video. I did like a little wash and go. So it's kind of really nice and moisturized. We want to make sure that it stays moisturized, especially my roots. She be dry. So yeah with the curls looking like y'all this is definitely my heat damage size so don't come for me and i'm going to go in to this mask child i'm going to try to stick on top of my hair and do a mask at least twice a month oh it smells so good and actually my hair is actually nice and detangled so i'm just gonna go ahead and skip my damn brush a step because I don't really think it's necessary and I'm just going to twist my hair wrap okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this all over my head it's not a hair video it's a self-care video so I will come back when I'm done okay Okay, boom. So basically, I'm gonna rinse this off after the whole entire video is completed, and then I'm just gonna like 
slick my hair back because I'm putting the wig tomorrow. So yeah, so now that we got the actual hair on our heads together, I'm gonna pull y'all in a little bit more closely because we're about to get into this brow, okay? Like, I know y'all see, I know y'all see the hair looking a little too crazy, okay? So, what I'm gonna do first is take one of these Neutrogena pads. I definitely washed my face today, girl, okay, don't do me. But I did go outside and I put on moisturizer and everything. So I know I'm about to do some more skincare right now. So I'm just gonna wipe my face and get rid of like all the sweat and oils. So we can get into these brows, honey bye. I'm going to be um taking care of these hairs, girl, with a uh, eyebrow race that I got from the beauty supply, they're like a dollar, but these are on Amazon as well. I'm gonna try something new. Usually I'll just raw dog my face, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I wouldn't, oh my god, that sounds like so nasty coming out. I wouldn't put on like any oils around my face, but ha ha ha. Amazon products, I feel like use this tea tree essential oil. It's 100% tea tree oil. It better be girl. And it's a huge bottle. Um, I'm gonna put all the links down in the description box below. So y'all don't even have to look for them. But this bottle is huge. It comes with Amazon Prime and it was very affordable. So we love that, don't we? So yeah, basically I wanna make sure that around my eyebrows stays lubricated. It makes the, it'll make the, the razor glide across my face a little bit better, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, y'all see this big bottle of tea tree oil. Also, I heard the tea tree oil is really, really good or your skin and for dark marks. And as you can see, cause you all all up in my grill. I have a lot of those. So what I'm gonna do is, and I'm just gonna put a little bit. I'm gonna put some on, around this eyebrow first. I'm literally only putting a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna try to hold my mirror as I do this, which I've never done before, but we should be okay. Question mark. And yeah, we're just gonna get all around these brows, child. Okay, so let me talk to you guys about my brows. I have not got my eyebrows professionally done in God knows how long because I have a horror story. I think I probably talked to you guys about this before. But basically, when I went away to college, I had to get a new eyebrow lady, okay? In high school, I used to get my eyebrows waxed. Because I feel like that's what everybody used to do. Threading wasn't that big back then. So I wasn't getting my stuff threaded. But I was definitely getting them waxed. And the ladies I used to go to, they used to do a good job. Now the only thing I hated about waxing is like, all of this will be light skin AF and then the rest of my forehead will be dark. Because I have a lot of hair. So if you get rid of all the hair around my eyebrows and it's still on my forehead, it's gonna be very noticeable. So that was the only thing I didn't like about it. But other than that, they did an amazing job. Oh, go to college. These ladies in Charlottesville, Virginia, I thought they ain't know what to do. She took off my whole entire top of my eyebrows. And that stuff, it, it, it ruined my whole, it just, it just, girl. I can't even speak. Anyways, look at all this hair I just got. Can y'all see? Anyways, I got all that hair off, just the top of the brow. Oh, that brow look good. Fuck what you soak it all out. And you also saved money, girl, because that eyebrow razor was like a dollar. You don't necessarily need the tea tree oil. I've done it plenty of times without it. So yeah. Now moving on, before we go to the other eyebrows, I'm gonna show you guys these bomb, this bomb tweezer set I got so we can get these blue hairs underneath. Y'all, if I'm not mistaken, this tweezer set comes with four different tweezers and it was on sale for like three dollars. What? And these tweezers looked fire. Yeah, look at this set. This is so cute. And I swear it was like, it was like three dollars, y'all. So I was like, I have to get it. Look at these, nah, like these um, top of the 
top of the line tweezers baby period this is the part that people don't like because it tends to be a little bit painful but i don't mind it it has been a while since i plucked under my brows though so this, this crap may hurt but oh wow these are some good tweezers y'all i'm really putting y'all on right now like what three dollars for a four pack of tweezers and they fire like these feel like tweezer man tweezers tweezers but I promise you, it don't take much to keep up with your brows, and that's just something else that you don't have to worry about setting up an appointment for or spending money on. You know, baby, we always go in the budget, period. Wow, these some good ass tweezers. And like, you can have a tweezer for different things. So these are gonna be my eyebrow tweezers. I'm gonna have a tweezer for my lashes. I'm gonna have a tweezer for like plucking wigs. And I'm gonna have a tweezer for like getting ingrown hairs out because I be messing in my man's beard. And I don't want his ingrown hair tweezers plucking my hair tweezers for my eyebrows and my face for my wigs and stuff, you know. We don't wanna do no cross contamination, baby, so. If you don't get anything, get this to these girls because they's bomb. Nah, fire. You can't tell me I ain't doing a good job. I need to actually cut my brows, but I don't feel like it. So, catch me another day. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact thing to the other side. And I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, boom. How you like me now? You can't tell me this brow ain't crispy AF. Always do this brow better than this one. I don't know, but actually this is my favorite brow. It's kind of weird, but... I think I did really good. I'm gonna try to put like a clip of before. So you guys can kind of like see the difference. I really think I did good. Like my them tweezers are fire, okay? No hair and it's not like that weird. Oh my God, you just got your eyebrows wax type of look. I, I used to hate that look. But anyways, moving on to like actual skincare now. I have a lot of texture and I have a lot of white heads, black heads, all that little itty bitty bumps around my nose. Ugh, gross. So actually for this part, I'm going to take out my nose ring because, hold on girl, let me make sure I take it out correct. Taking out my nose ring because we are about to do some Bior, is that how you pronounce it, nose and face deep cleansing pore strips. I haven't wanted to do these for so long. I don't think I'm gonna do my forehead. I think I'm gonna do my chin. Do y'all like, if you put your lips like this, do you have these little like itty bitty bumps down it? Well, it's just me. Cause if so, and it's just me that's embarrassing and act like you ain't never hear me say that. But if you do, girl, yeah, me too. That shit is irritating. Like what, what are you down there for? What are you here for? Tell me your purpose. What's your business? You know what I'm saying? So, this is the face strip. And I'm guessing the white ones are the nose strips. Dry hands, peel strip off, plastic liner. Apply to nose areas. Girl, this is too many steps. Okay, y'all. So, anyways, I know I washed my face earlier, but I'm about to wash my face again because it say wash your face. So, I use CeraVe Acne Foam Cleanser. Girl, look like ain't nothing in here, but don't worry, I got another bottle over there. And I'm gonna wash my face, and then I'm gonna make sure my face is wet. After washing your face thoroughly, wet your nose. Okay, what does the face strip say? After washing your face thoroughly, wet the desired area. Okay, dry your hands. You may cut the strips to fit the desired area. Apply the strips to the skin. Girl! Okay, I'll be back after I wash my face, okay? You guys, it feels so weird washing my face with no nose ring. Like, I can do this smoothly on each side. <sighs> crazy and if you are doing this self-care routine with me at home and you're doing it in the exact steps that i'm doing please make sure that your face wash is not going to irritate the skin that you just you know shaved around your brows because girl i used to use dr bronner's bonner's bronner's dr bronner's girl that stuff would have aggravated my skin you know what i'm saying not to shit on dr bronner's but you know anyways Cleansing the skin, honey. Ew. I think I'm crazy. Something's really on with me anyway. My face is doing really, really good, you guys, right now. I'm like, ah, can we have a round of applause? I'm so excited. 
applying it for my skin. Let me not jinx it though, because every time I say my skin is doing well, it likes to shit on me. So yeah. I'm about to go wash this off and I'm gonna be right back. Ooh, baby. Who's water coat? Make sure y'all wear shop paper cold water now. No nose ring? Who am I even? Okay, so let me do the nose strip first. What my with my nose strip. Girl, what, what you doing all the way over here? <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm all burping in y'all face. I'm so sorry. Okay. So let's rip this baby open. Okay, it has a nice blue tear slate for you so you don't have to like rip through the directions because we want to make sure we follow these directions. Okay, honey? So it says remove the strip from the pouch and twist it to loosen and separate the slit. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Twisting, that's what we're talking about. And what else? After washing your face thoroughly, wet your nose to strip off stick, okay? We're wet, literally dripping. <laughs> Ew, okay. Hand, dry hands. I dry my hands, pretty poo. And peel, strip off plastic liner. Okay. Ah. Oh no, I bent it back with my nail a little bit. Oh well, I guess that won't matter. Peeling her off the plastic. And it says, apply to nose area, smooth size down, pressing down to ensure good contact with skin. And that drop for about 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes? God damn. Okay, you guys, is this how it's supposed to be? Is this how I'm supposed to be knowing it? Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. That was kind of easy. I feel like I just broke my nose or something. Here, cause this is my. Oh wait, that's it. Oh wait, oh sh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you say you want I? Okay. I could take you there. Yeah. So all you gotta do is say that one time, okay? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna smooth it out, guys. Smooth it out. Something's wrong with me. Okay. I look a little crazy, but anyways, we're gonna stay here and wait 10 to 15 minutes. I want to put, I want to put my eye strips on it, but it will definitely interfere. So, I'm gonna go watch some TikToks, you guys, and I'll be back when it's like 435 because I want this to really seep in and get real deep into my pores, okay? All right, you guys. So before I remove them, I definitely want to read you guys the extra information on the side. I probably should have read that information on the side first, but I just now saw it. So anyways, it says no strip. Make sure you only use... It says for nose strip, make sure you only use it on your nose. Duh, like come on. For the face strip, avoid using around your eyes and then avoid using on acne, blemishes, or swollen slash sunburn or excessively dry skin or skin prone to spider veins. What the hell is that? Um, consult a physician before using girl bye. Avoid using on skin which is sensitive to band-aids to peel off masks and remove strip as directed promptly after it becomes stiff. This one down here is definitely stiff AF. This one is too, okay? Oh, it got stiff on me. And then it says that you should pull towards the center. Okay, y'all. So let's do this together. Ooh, baby, this gonna, this gonna hurt a little bit. And it says if you can't pull it, put water on it. I'm a big girl. We can handle it. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Things we do for beauty, right? Girl, this shit hurt. Woo! Okay, ew! Can y'all see? I know y'all see those little specks. Girl, where's my mirror? I should have did before and after. Girl, that did a really good job. It made my damn nose run though. Hold the freak on. I'm surprised it didn't make me cry. Wow, these things really work. It, it also said not to use more than um 
once every three days, okay? Uh, yeah, that did a really good job. It kind of left like some white stuff on my nose, so I'm gonna wipe that off with a, a makeup wipe, but let's get this chin, girl. Oh, it's gonna hurt, because there's a little hair down here. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, girl. Okay. It feels like I have less bumps for sure. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not capping. But there's nothing on the thing except a little piece of hair. But I swear my hand to God, it's less texture down here. I highly recommend, unless you have like a very low pain tolerance, Wow, what's like in these things? Is there anything in it or it's just, it has to be something in it. Ingredients, yeah, it got ingredients, girl. It's a whole lot of stuff I can't pronounce, but you know. You wanna see my skin, girl, can you see my nose? Wow, my nose ring hole is ugly AF, it's like big, anyways. So now we're gonna go into eye care. So girl, I kinda like went through it during Valentine's Day weekend. I was waking up early, I was going to sleep late. I woke up, I had, girl, dark marks. That weekend wore me out, okay? So we need to make sure that we get rid of these dark marks, these designer bags, under these eye tiny. So this is the first time that I'm going to use some eye patches. They are from Mizon, Mizon, Mizon. This is what the packaging looks like, super cute. These are the Original Skin Energy Hyaluronic Acid Eye Gel Patches, period. So it contains hyaluronic acid that helps lock in moisture and protects skin from dryness. And my, even my eyelids get dry, girl, they dry right now, ooh, babies. Anyways, ooh, this is what it looks like, you guys. This shit shiny, and now I'm gonna, is this how it goes? Okay. All right. Some people got the big part on the outer corner. Some people got it on the inner corner. Most of the pictures got it on the inner corner. So that's where I'm gonna put it. <gasps> oh, she cold, bitch. She is cold. These feel like they have been in a dag on skincare. Uh refrigerator okay periana makeup girls wanna holla i don't know why i keep saying that something's really wrong with me okay i put this one a little bit closer to my nose bitch is you falling down so weedy yeah this is not it's not giving what it's supposed to be this was a good pickup too though besides it keeps falling besides the fact that they keep falling down my dad's face like, am I supposed to be, like, in a spa mode, laying back? I don't know, but I don't have that type of luxury right now. Okay, I'm making a video. You just work with me here. Can I press it, girl? I don't know. But anyways, it's a ton of these eye patches in that container. And these were not that um, pricey. They were a little bit more expensive than everything else. Um, I don't remember the exact... Price. Maybe I'll put it on the screen, but I think they were a good pickup. I don't think I'm gonna keep them on my skin down on because they're irritating the freak out of me, to be honest. They're not sticking to my face. I'm gonna try to sit here for as long as I possibly can. Maybe I gotta sit back a little bit. And I'm gonna come back, girl, after a couple of minutes has passed, okay? So we're back. And I'm fucking over it, okay? It definitely made my under eye feel a little bit better for like the small amount of time it was on there. It wasn't on there long at all. But anyways, I'm excited now to move on to this Jade Roller by a company whose name I cannot pronounce. It's lit. Um, I'm super duper excited. I've been wanting to try one of these for a really long time. So I got the one that's like a handheld roller and then I got the one that's like your whole entire face or whatever. I do not know the benefits. So while I am opening this, maybe I'll 
put in like a voice recording so we all know how this can benefit us in our regular regular skincare routine okay Okay, so after doing a little bit of research, it says the jade rollers are believed to boost blood circulation, reduce swelling, and can help products penetrate deeper into the skin. Basically, they're supposed to be a quick, easy cure for daily skincare struggles like dark under eye circles and puffiness. Um, in terms of how often you should use a jade roller, they recommend twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening after washing your face. But you can use the jade roller as many times as you please. Um, and definitely you should use it after applying a face serum, oil, or moisturizer. Like I said earlier, it helps the products penetrate into the skin. And you don't want to do it dry because it may cause some friction. So, yeah, it's lit. I actually love doing the jade rolling. And I'm definitely going to start incorporating it into my daily skin care okay you guys so it says repeat each motion about 10 times and each evening use a firm pressure but don't pull the skin redness is normal a sign that blood flow is being stimulated and will last just a few minutes continued use should provide improvements to your skin's firmness and brightness and periodon make the girls wanna holla okay i really need to stop saying that i don't know where i got that from it's really trend i'm really like cringing at myself right now so anyways i'm gonna take the um extra tea tree oil i had and i'm just going to apply that to my skin not too much i don't want to be super duper oily right now but um yeah i guess i'm just going to start rolling you guys Okay, guys, so I'm not gonna lie, when I first started doing the J rolling situation, I didn't really know everything about it. So I did pull up a tutorial really quickly, and luckily I was doing some things right. So we got the hair situated, the eyebrows tamed, okay? Um, what else I did? I got my pores nice and cleansed. I did some J rolling with some calming tea tree oil. So now it's time to mess with the teeth okay so i picked up some crest 3d no slip whitening strips three easy steps peel apply where for an hour oh wow okay <laughs> okay so basically that's gonna be the last thing i do huh can you talk with these on i sure hope you can so i can do my outro to this video because i'm not trying to have to come back girl after this, I'm ready to go lay down, talk to my man on the phone or something. Shoot. Anyways, I gotta show y'all my teeth to see. Girl, look ain't long. Okay. Oh, this feels actually weird. I've never had braces before. I've never had a retainer. So this feels weird AF, but it's all about our oral hygiene, okay? Why am I not doing this in a mirror? I'm trying to show y'all she. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, well this actually looks and feels disgusting. <laughs> okay, you guys, so the last thing I wanted to show you guys, oh my god, it feels so weird talking with these things in my mouth. Um, it's not really a product, but it does technically still, cons I technically still consider it to be self-care because I just wanted to buy something for me. So I got a bunch of these, um, nose rings from this company. The link will be in the description box as well. Um, just because it's good to always switch up your nose rings, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I buy like the same nose ring five times just because I like the style. But with these, I don't have to, honey, because they come with a ton of different little ones. 
y'all probably can't see, but these are super duper cute. I'm gonna put like a picture of what they look like online so y'all know what I'm looking at right now. But they're all rose gold, so that's gonna be something different. I think it's gonna pop out on my skin because I've only always had either silver or gold, never rose gold. So I'm excited, you know what I'm saying? If you don't switch out your nose ring uh frequently, you're dirty, just to let you know, honestly. <laughs> It's like, no, I'm not gonna come for y'all, but if you have or know of a bomb nose ring company, let me know. I want one of the like really cute ones that are kind of like big and over the top. Yes, super cute. Okay, you guys, my battery is dying. Okay, so I'm gonna fiddle with this nose ring. I hope you guys like this um video. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you think that I should do a self care giveaway for my next one when we hit 50k, let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye, mamas. Mwah. <laughs> oh my god, I just was talking so fast with these things in my mouth. Oh my god, okay, but for real, bye y'all. Love y'all. Hold it, got the dumpy, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch? On it, on it, on it, on it.